Advanced framing begins with 24 inch layout. It's usually a good idea to stack the framing because it makes the plywood layout more predictable. But if you're using single top plates instead of double plates, transferring the load is required because of science and the building code. But a lot of framers stick to double top plates for a more mundane reason. So the drywall fits. There are a lot of options for improving energy performance of headers, from those that support a second floor and a roof, to those that support nothing at all. If the header supports nothing at all, omit the header. In larger openings with omitted headers, it's worth doubling up the sill and head plates. For large openings that do need structural headers, you can make an insulation sandwich with two LVLs and a two inch slab of foam or rock wool. This fits perfectly into a 2x6 wall. An option for point loads over large openings is to recess an extra layer of end joist into the floor system above the opening. Recessing an extra ply into the rim joist can eliminate the need for headers in the wall, but you'll have to cut a few of the floor joists shorter. For joists that stack over studs, make sure there's enough bearing on the wall. For joists over openings, add joist hangers. For structural headers carrying very little weight, look it up in a load chart and then size it right. Corners afford opportunities for improvement too. One stud at the end of each wall makes the maximum amount of space for wall insulation and is structurally sound. You may have to convince your drywall contractor to float the corners, but you should get far fewer cracks and corners from wood movement. Inside the house there are a lot of ways to do partition walls, and here's two of them. Use ladder blocking between studs rather than boxing out a post as a wall backing. Ladder blocking eats up scraps and makes more room for continuous insulation. An even better way is to gap the wall so that the drywall can be slid behind the joint for a continuous air barrier. This also allows full depth insulation in the stud cavity. The top of the wall is anchored with a steel connector or a block of 2x4. One more boost that framers can add at the design stage is to suggest using raised heel trusses. They extend up significantly higher before the roof pitch begins, which allows a thick blanket of insulation atop the outside walls. <laughs>